Hello everyone, this is going to be a quick video on making non-timing pulleys within VEX. Non-timing pulleys are probably the easiest thing for somebody to draw in a CAD program, but I had the opportunity the other day where I had to draw one for a project, and I found it to be enough of a pain that I decided to add a very quick module so that one could uh, generate these types of pulleys in VEX. Those of you who watched last week's video will remember this shot of a seashell that I coated in copper. And I was curious as to whether a, a rock tumbler would polish that up for me, or at least help me polish it up, so I decided to dig out my trusty rock tumbler. Unfortunately, I discovered I don't have a rock tumbler, trusty or otherwise, so I decided to throw one together. So I cut an old film processor roller in two, shoved it in some scrap wood, threw a stepper motor and a small Arduino onto a board, and this is where the pulleys come in. Normally at this point I could either design two gears to fit those two shafts or I'd find an old belt in a parts drawer and design two timing pulleys to fit it. In this case though I don't care about synchronized motion and oddly enough I've run out of little old timing belts. So I decided to see if elastic bands would work and that's where the pulleys come in. I needed something to take elastic bands. This is how it ended up. It's a nice, quick, cheap solution. Elastic bands are a dime a dozen. So they were worth adding to our toolbox, and um, let's take a look at how to make them so that you can use them in almost any kinetic art project. Okay, so this is very simple. We push the pulley button down here in the STL operations, and you'll be presented with the dialog, which shows this drawing off of the origin. Again, the origin is used as an STL center. You have a lot of selections here but they're very easy to use. Your pulley diameter will set the height of this pulley. If I type 60 instead of 50, for example, uh, it'll get taller. The number of pulleys is handy if you want to add more elastic bands or more whatever O-rings or whatever you intend to use. If you're going to use an O-ring, we have the round belt selection. If you turn off the round belt selection, you'll be presented with two more sliders that can set both the depth of the groove as well as the wall angle of the groove. If you use an elastic band, you might want to have a depth two, three times that of your elastic. Uh, there seems to be lots of friction when you do that. Uh, you can also set a little bit of wall angle so it squeezes an elastic band at its bottom or if you're using a V-belt of course you'll set it to uh, whatever your V-belt shape is. Uh, when you're done simply uh, press create. Uh, there's also a separation button so that you can set the thickness between the belts to give yourself some strength on your STL. Hit create when you're done and you'll have your pulley. Again, if we go to the STL scaling over here in the corner, uh, you can flip this around to view it to make sure that it's good. Uh, if you hit left or right, you'll be presented with a flat-on view just in case that's important for your STL. You can also then, of course, as long as it's selected, do an export STL and export it out. When you create one, a circle is created around it. This is because every STL in VEX is actually owned by a contour. So you can select the STL by selecting that contour in the normal way. Hitting delete will simply delete the STL and again hitting it a second time will take you out. The pulley wizard is available at any time uh, and it's just a quick way to create an STL and put it out for your rock tumbler or whatever the heck you're making. That's it. Like I said, quick module and just a quick addition. I realize many people could draw these anyways, uh, but for those who it would take a few minutes, this way is dead simple. Thanks.